This drop off is going to be a doozy. What is with some establishments in 2024? We got some time before our two catering, so let's do a little DoorDash on the way. There you go, 7,084, 4.9. Yeah, pretty close. Look at that, the number's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> you walk all day, sometimes don't have to mind. So I accepted one DoorDash McDonald's, they added another one. I gotta go this way anyway before my catering, easy money. Say hi to the arch in the comments. We back at Ballpark Village. Let's get this money. All right, we're back. Pick up two catering orders today. This one, and we got like a 50 minute, win 40 minute window to get the other one. The first catering order is literally down the street. We'll come right back here. I got this text message from Deliver That telling me I got two. And then if I accept anything else to reach out to them. So they know that I have two. They're approving it. They're just reminding me. So that's good information. Let's validate this ticket. Let's go pick up these caterings. Let's start our day. Anybody need a cerveza, margarita? We early, a little bit of a wait, no big deal. All right, so interesting about these two pickups is, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna drop this first one off, but we have both of them. He gave me both of them. He wanted to give me both of them. The 1110 pickup was ready before the 1040 pickup. But we got both of these bad boys. And that's actually a good thing, and I'm gonna explain why. At least I think it's good. And he, he approved it. All right, so we just left Ballpark Village, just drove by this Bush Stadium where the St. Louis Cardinals play. We're a two minute car ride. It's right down the road. And then we're going to depart for the second drop off. Now we're gonna get to that second one a little bit early, but I'll explain what we'll do and why with that. Well, that's where the Blues play, the Enterprise Center. They do a lot of concerts there as well. We're going to hop on this highway and drop off the second one. This drop off is going to be a doozy. Hospital, if you know, you know. Nowhere to park, no instructions, not picking up the phone. Actually, we found it. All right, those doubles were the easiest ones I've done so far. Two caterings at one, I'm a brand new guy, I'm learning. But I wanna talk about what I know about catering from my past. So I think some of you guys uh, might think I'm brand new to this. I'm brand new to this app. I'm not brand new to catering. And shout out to DM. He did a reaction of my video from Monday. He did a fantastic job. He dropped some gems on myself and the community. Um, so shout out to him. But I wanna, I'll break these down. I'll show you guys the information. We made, if you add the $8 McDonald's, which whatever, that's money. Um, if you add that, we basically made between 68 and 78 bucks in a little over an hour. If you look at just these caterings, this took us 40 minutes. We made 60 to 70 bucks in 40 minutes. Pretty easy money. And I'm in a good area. I'll turn DoorDash on right now. We did accept a new, uh, another deliver that for Subway for tomorrow. I'm gonna break that one down with you guys in this video to see if I'm gonna keep it or not, see if it's worth my time. I'm also gonna show you guys how you can drop an order. Cause yesterday we had uh, five offers, no, five jobs, and that turned into only the two that you just saw. But we'll get in the car and do all that. I think it's time for a haircut. When it's windy and the hair starts blowing, your boy starts to like, woo. All right, so I'm gonna put some split screens here of the arrivals and departures for those orders. Um, all green checks, everything worked out. When I got there, the 1110 order was actually ready. He brought that out first. Then the first pickup that was supposed to be picked up at 1040. He goes, you got this one too, right? I said, yeah, I got this one. I said, do you want me to take these at the same time and leave with them? He goes, as long as you drop off the 1040 off first. Absolutely, that's fine. Because otherwise, the food's there. It's already made. So it's kind of silly. But I want to hear y'all's opinion. It's silly to like take the one, go back there. Waste of time when the food's literally there. So I took both of them. He he said I could. So I did it. 
What I did was I dropped off the first one. Everything's on time, everything's good. Notes, called her, no setup required. She, she said I, I needed to leave it at the desk for maybe security reasons, not sure. Did that, departed the uh, Nestle, but I, I started the job for the second one because I had it when I was leaving with the first one. Does that make sense? So they both started at the same time as far as like start the job. And then I marked departure. After I dropped off the first one, I marked departure because I was driving back towards the place. I marked that I departed. Departed because the first one was like two, three minutes away. And then I got here, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes early, 15 minutes early. But because I had a final place to park, because I had to go through a maze of walking and da 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 and figuring it out, still got there early by 13 minutes. That's fine by delivered ad or whatever, right? It's got the green check mark. Can't be 15 minutes dropping it off early is what I hear. But technically, you could drop it off early. You just can't mark it that way. I want to hear y'all's opinion, but customer's happy. Everything marked up. Merchant's happy. Everything's good. I helped him facilitate his catering. He was super busy in there. I want to talk about my experience. So at the end, there's one other thing I want to show you guys, but you guys tell me. I mean, listen, we just made 60 or 70 bucks, not including the eight that we made on Dash along the way. And it's just now lunchtime. Well, it's it's 11.20. If I'm not making these videos and rambling, and if I'm not brand new at this, and I'm already on my way to make more money right now. So hell of a way to start the day. I mean, and these were small orders. The second one I just dropped off, 188 valuation subtotal. The first one was 300 and something dollars. So that was one big bag and then two small brown bags. This was one big bag, two boxes in the bag. And then one brown bag that has economies, utensils, napkins, sauces, these are or these, some of these I'm doing now are easier than some of the DoorDash orders I've had to do. But hey, it is what it is. So I got DoorDash on. We can see while we're sitting here talking, we'll see what we get. But I'll just say, so I'll say, I'm going to put it here now. So I had the five job five jobs yesterday. I dropped them. I met a guy. Okay. I, I met a guy that was doing two jobs today that I had in my queue and I dropped it and he did them. A Planet Subs and the taco joint that he picked up from. I had both of those, but dropped them because I stacked these two because they made sense because of the mileage, the location, the pickup drop-offs. I stacked it and I saw that logistically I could do both. I did both. The other ones weren't like that. I would have only been able to do one. So I doubled my money just by knowing the logistics, the marketplace, the timing, same place, worked out fantastic. But you could actually drop, and I'll put it here, you can drop or give this order to another driver. So you wanna accept them on this app and then if it doesn't look like you want it, just drop it. That's the key is what I'm learning. All right, well. We had an order and it's not coming through the phone, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, it was for Shake Shack. Please accept order. Yeah, it's nothing's nothing's there. It's telling me to accept it, but nothing's there. I got bars, so yeah. So we're all, we're waiting on DoorDash to figure this stuff out. Um, yeah, you could drop. You want to accept? You want to just drop it if it doesn't make sense. So I got the one. I'll do it in live time with you guys at the end of the video. See if I'm going to keep the one for tomorrow. And as they send me new ones, looks like between two and two thirty is when. The next batch will pop up for the next couple days. If something's good, I'll accept it. You might see that in this video. Either way, I'll show you the one that I accepted while I was doing this drop off in the elevator. They sent me one. Um, but I wanna talk about my history with catering, what I know about it, what I've done with it. Cause I think in last night's video, UDM made some great points, but I was reading the chat and I think some, some of y'all got it a little confused as to some of the things I've actually done. While I'm new to this app, I'm not new to food delivery, catering, banquets. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit, the history of what I know. So I used to manage restaurants. I've managed banquet facilities. I was part of, as a food and beverage director, I managed all that caterings, weddings. I've done catering setups with Cambros and Sternos and utensils and pans. And I've done all that many times, actually. So I know how to do that. I know how that works. I feel like I need to learn this app and I need to learn the merchants I'm dealing with. I don't need to know how to set up a delivery or anything like that. I know how to do that stuff. I understand the nuances, I understand customer service steps of it. I get that, that's not new to me. I'm learning the merchants that are on the Delivered At Easy Cater, building the relationships and learning the, the app and what they require and what are the guidelines. As far as setting up and things like that and customer service and knowing how to do things, I could do that stuff in my sleep. I've done it thousands of times. So, um, but shout out to UDM. He, he did a really, really great reaction. I learned a few things as well, as far as the timing and some other stuff. Uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was good. So I, uh, yeah, I, this catering thing's not new to me. Uh, it, it's not at all. Um, it's, it's just not. 
and I know I'm gonna run into orders that are gonna be a little more more set up, more frustration, more, but that's any app, you know. I've had a pretty, really great experience. I've only done, I've done what, four runs? Monday, Tuesday, and then two today. I mean, they've all been really good. Uh, they've, it's been good. This taco joint, operationally, very sound. So when I see offers from them, I'm just gonna do them. I'm just doing it. Don't care if the mileage, the subtotal. I like what they got going on over there. The people are good. The setup is good. The bagging process, everything is good. So I'm definitely gonna build that relationship. Uh, I introduce myself to the guy out there so I know two of the, the managers that work there now. Maybe there's a rating system, I think, on the dashboard for the, the, the business, the, the restaurants. Maybe they could highly rate me. Maybe that helps me. I, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna do what I can to build those relationships the same way I did with food delivery with certain merchants in my market. Uh, but the catering stuff, like the setup and all that logistics of that, that is, that is, I could do that in my sleep, guys. Um, I might be new to catering. I am not new to customer service, banquets, uh, uh, setup, like that stuff to me, I could do, I could literally do that with my eyes closed. There we go, five guys, 10.50. That's the second order, the first order we didn't see. Uh, five guys in Jack in a Box, 10.51.7. Different customers. I mean, listen, I don't love the Jack in the Box. I always go to Five Guys, at least this local one. I love the guys in there. Um, listen, I, I'm taking 1050 for 1.7. I don't care. Definitely taking that. But let's uh, let's look at this order real quick. Um, I'm both, the Jack in the Box and Five Guys are on the same street. This is going to take us like maybe 20 minutes for 10 bucks. So if I'm looking at the screenshots, I'm going to put them up here of the order we accepted for tomorrow. Uh, it's a Subway, let me see here, $159, so not really big. Uh, estimated distance after was 3.7 miles, 10 minutes, John Henry, uh, let me see here, uh, yeah, $7.60 in delivery commission, because there's no really, there's no mileage on there. Now, I'm going to keep it in the queue, that's what I'm going to call it, the jobs queue, and hope I get something better later. Um, I think I will because I don't like, uh, it's not bad. I mean, I'm probably going to, if I get something better, like something from this taco joint or whatever, that might be paying a little bit more of a commission, but the mileage is the same or similar. I'm definitely going to take it. And I want to do bigger orders. I don't know why. Well, maybe it doesn't matter, but, and I don't know how Subway operates. I know how the taco joint operates. So I'm going to keep it now and then I'll, I'll drop it later if I need to. Let's go pick up these DoorDashes, 1050, 1.7. Um, Diamond priority, it is what it is. Clown me in the comments, I don't care. My acceptance rate is 82%. I just accepted this one. I mean, whatever. I'm gonna be at 100 bucks in the next 30 minutes for the day. Um, hand it to me, I can meet you in either the front or the back, whichever way the GPS takes you. I mean, sometimes when I see the hand to me, in certain areas, it's a red flag. It just, it's a red flag for me. It, it brings back trauma echoes. I, I record customers. I'll take pictures. I don't want no contract violations, but some people, I'll be, they be scamming, man. I'm telling you. So let's dip in this five guys. It was right down the street from where we were just parked at when we were talking. Um, yeah, great, great start to the day, man. Listen, uh, yeah, not, not, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm going to do a recap Friday's video about my experience with delivered app, but so far, a uh, very positive, very good, way better than curry. Oh man way better than curry if i had to, curry i've rated right now in my experience has been i'm gonna give it a d minus there's some things that are good about it and there's a lot of things that are f's but there's a few things that are like b's uh so far right now i give it a solid a for the deliver that experience look at that they got that specialty grilled cheese patty add extra patty that's that grilled cheeseburger if you know you know all right, this lobby should be open. What is with some establishments in 2024? Y'all still living in 2021? What the? F this is the kind of stuff that gets me hot under the collar. You want me to do all this waiting and getting the drive through and now there's three more cars that just pulled in and this order could be paying me literally nothing because a stacked on DoorDash, the base pay could be two. So this could be, I'm working for free. I hate when companies hide the money and they just aren't trained for reasons like this. Because if I knew what this was paying me, I would just drop it. 
Oh my God, I can't stand it. Good morning, what can I get for you? Hi, I have a uh, DoorDash for Tyree. I can't hear you. I have a DoorDash for Tyree. Tyree? Yes, ma'am. Told y'all I was jack in the box that I was like, uh, rookie mistake. I, a stack with jack in the box is trash in St. Louis. Well, there wasn't no way. I don't know what. Maybe they're closed. The three of the cars pulled it. I, maybe maybe they're only doing online. They could be it. They do that here. But that order was waiting already. So this dude's been waiting. All right, we dropped those two off and we accepted a stack on crazy bowls and wraps. I think it was eleven bucks. Future Pedro here. Listen. All right, I'll put the the split screens of some of the runs we did today and then my daily totals with DoorDash. And then obviously we're expecting at least 60 or $70 from Deliver That. Um, I dropped that Deliver That because I was like, nah, I'll get something better. I haven't seen any other Deliver That order all day long. I got people in St. Louis sending me screenshots of what they're seeing. I haven't seen any other offers since I dropped that other one off at like 11, 15, 11, 16. I got the one, I just dropped it, the subway that I showed you earlier, nothing. So hopefully I get something to start my day tomorrow with Deliver That. It is what it is. So we've got the 60 to $70 on Deliver That, the 90 something on DoorDash. I mean, I did my last DoorDash run at three, four, three fifty. Not a bad day. Light work. I'll stay out a little bit if I need to hit, if I need to make a little more money. The catering apps so far right now are coming in nicely. The way I'm seeing it so far, I'm gonna do my review on Friday. If you can start your day with one, or like I did today too, if you have a monetary goal to hit each day, you might be saving yourself an hour or two in the long run. So you can go home a little bit earlier. Now, who knows? My experience might be that uh, I might not get one a day. I have no idea what to expect, but hopefully I get one tomorrow. Hopefully I get one Friday. I'll give you a full review of my findings on Friday for the app after doing a week of it and what I see and what I'm hearing and what I'm learning. And uh, not bad. Not bad earnings today, haven't driven a lot. Very easy, already made this video, was live earlier, you know, for 45 minutes. So like I could have been making more money, but I've been doing other things. So it's great about the gig economy, flexibility, turn off the app, turn on the app, multiple apps, all that good stuff. Listen, y'all tell me what you think about the in the comment section. I did my first stack, undelivered that as a newbie. How do you think it went? Do Would you do that? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about what you've seen in this video today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.